called a filter function. Now, what is the role of a filter function? Filter function is like a calculate. Can somebody remind me what is calculate? The condition of scale. Some, huh? Yeah. Condition of scale. Condition right. becomes calculations, right? So what it is doing internally is putting a filter on top of the data and doing the calculation. And what does it return? It returns a table or a scalar value. Yeah, scalar it. value. It returns you one single right. value. It is not going to return a table. Now, what filter function does? Filter function applies the filter on the row context of the table. So row wise, it's going applying the context and pulls a table up or pulls a column out. So the main difference between calculate and filter is in calculate, it's putting filter doing aggregation, hence resulting in one value. Whereas filter function puts the filter on the row context and it extracts the column or extracts the table using it. Okay. So the way it works is, so this is also known as iterator function. Whenever you hear this word iterator means it's working on row level. It's not working on a column. It's not working on a table. It's working on individual row, row and doing a calculation. That's what iterator functions mean. What are the other iterator functions you know of? Sum x, count x, average x, min x, those are iterator functions. So it takes a lot of time on a larger data set. Why it takes a lot of time on a larger data set? Because it's working on individual rows, right? And hence we try to avoid filter. It slows us down. So typically we use calculate, but in calculate, the problem is it cannot deal with very complex filters. Simple example, what we did in calculate, the name of the field and the value. Gender is male. Price is greater than 3000. Very basic stuff it can do. But if I had put some measures around it, if I said, okay, when the product price is greater than the average product price, these kinds of complexity calculate cannot do. So in such cases, we use filter functions. So if it's a basic filter, Calculate can handle, we prefer calculate. Why? Because filter functions make it slower for us. But if it's a little complex filter that you are trying to apply on your data and then pull the value based on that, then we use a filter function. Since filter function, it requires a table and it requires a filter expression. How many filters can you put? Only one. It's a filter expression. It's filter one, comma filter two, comma filter three. That's not there in filter function. So it's a table and a filter expression, right? And what it gives output as is a table. What it will give you as an output is a table. It returns a table. So typically you will see either we are using a filter function to create a new table for ourselves. Let's say we filtered, brought the table, we are doing analysis on that table. Either we'll do that or we'll use filter function inside a calculator again. Okay. Why we do it? Because filter returns as a table. Now to evaluate that table and get a value out of it, we will again use a calculator function. Let's see an example. First, let's see if I had to use filter function to get a table only. Um, let's say I want to look at the sales table where the year is 2017 and the category is bikes and I want to get a table out of it. So in order to use a filter function, under modeling, you have something called new table and this new table, you can see it says write a DAX expression to create a new table filter will result in a table, right? So it's not a calculated column or a calculated measure. It's none of the above. It's a table you're getting. So if you're going to use a filter function, then you will have to come to new table and this new table can be created using DAX. So once I click on new table, let's say this is bytes um, 2017 table I want, right? sales table. So filter, which table are we working on? Sales. sales. So that goes AW sales, comma, what is my filter expression? That has to be year has to be 2017, category name has to be bike. 
but it requires only one filter expression. So how will I write it? And function. So I can use and. Logical one is the category name. So related category name bracket close is equal to bikes. Right? <coughs> Comma. Next thing is year. Calendar. So that's calendar date. Related calendar date. We have year also. Calendar year. Close the bracket is equal to 2017. Close the bracket for and. Close the bracket for filter. Is this clear? Enter. Let's see. So over here, since it's a table we are calculating. Why is it not closing? See, it's okay. So you will see that a new table itself got generated called Bikes 2017 Sales. So if I go to the table view, you will see this is only 2017 data. No other data is there. Number one. Number two, over here, the product key that you will see, the product keys you will see are all related to the category of bikes. So this kind of thing we can do with a filter function. So when you're using a filter function to create a table, you have to use a DAX and new table to do that.